area is restricted to you, Orb. You're, uh, not on the guest list. You don't want to keep doing that. Initiated. Access granted. If you got... Please, don't shoot me! You wanna tell me what's going on here? Artem Crafts? Looks like an old toy factory to me. Except something tells me it's not toys you make here. This is Drachomir's place. The men outside are his men. They use it to... Well, to run whatever scam they have going at the time. And what scam do they have going right now? Documents. I make forgeries for Drachomir and his men. Fake permits and passports and police credentials. Whatever he wants, or whatever he thinks he can push on people. Basically, if Drachomir tells me to make it, I make it. So it's a forgery ring, and you're pretty much at the heart of it. Makes me sound like a ringleader. Milena is no ringleader. I just... I'm not very good at saying no to people who point guns at me.
Where do I find Rahamir? He controls a fake police checkpoint just down the street. It is where he stops people and extorts them, preys on their fears, their desperation. If you're lucky, he charges you some ridiculous amount in exchange for one of my fake dogs. And if you're not lucky? He will string you along, funnel you into an endless series of promises and payments, for some it never ends. And all this happens in broad daylight in the middle of the street? Amazing what people would tolerate when they are scared. A man with a gun and a fake uniform stops you in the street, tells you you must go somewhere, pay for something. Most people will do whatever he wants. But... You are not like most people, are you? You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone. We should do whatever we can, right? It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries. So the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. Alright, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. Alright. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir has been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. I've already taken care of the guys outside. They won't be a problem. Thank you. As mysterious military types go, you're pretty neat, I guess. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? Way ahead of you. Please, put the weapon away. Please, none of us are safe for as long as Drahumir is out there. I'm gonna do what I can. You just be careful.
Just because Dragomir looks like a cop, doesn't mean he's a real cop. He showed me his credentials. They look pretty real to me. Bullshit. The guy's a scam artist. Everyone knows it. If you ever find proof of this, I'm with you. You know that. Not from here, are you? What gives it away? You just walked up to a police officer. And I have this funny feeling you expect something good to come out of it. I recently heard something about a fake checkpoint. Apparently there's a cop around here who might know what I'm talking about. Draumir, he's a slippery fuck. Pays off all the right people, provides all these bullshit documents that prove he's legit. Regional inspector, my ass. I'm putting a file together. A file? This guy's dressing up like a cop and harassing Augs in the street. <sighs> Sounds like 90% of the people I work with. Listen. The right amount of coin in the right kind of pocket, fancy looking paperwork, those things go a long way in this city. Especially if the perception is that he's not really doing anything wrong. Just giving Augs a hard time. There's more to it than that. That's exactly what I think. Why don't you fill me in? What's Drahomir been up to behind my back? Drahomir's checkpoint is the setup for a forgery ring. He's not just stopping Augs and giving them a hard time. He's not just taking people's lunch money. It's extortion. This forgery ring. You have an address? I was inside. I saw the equipment. You know what? You had me back at harassing. I've been dying for an excuse. A chance to go after someone who actually deserves it for once. No more hiding behind the people he bribes. I suggest keeping your distance. Official police business now. Stay out of it. Go back to Gollum! We were machines, sir. But terror and pain have turned us into souls. There is something struggling within. Moments when something enters into us. Thoughts come upon us which are not of us. We feel what we did not used to feel. We hear voices teach us to have children so that we may love them. Primus, is that you? Are you a rank of Bauer? Who are you? Please, take whatever you want. Just leave us alone. I didn't come here to take anything. You haven't? Irenka, she gets very scared. Whatever you've come to tell her, you should first tell me. I... I am the robot Helena. Irenka is not well. We must shield her. Irenka paid someone to make her an odd permit. To keep her from being taken to Gollum City. That someone wants to come through. Really? If, if that's true, she'll be... We'll be very happy. If we can stay in Prague, maybe they'll even... There was once a great play that predicted so much. Robots, revolutions, the future of mankind. She memorized all of it. It's her way. It's my way of trying to understand. I'll take your word for it. Here. This permit is good enough to fool anyone who takes a look at it. Does... Does this mean I don't have to hide anymore? It's not that simple. You're still in danger. The permit needs to be activated. Otherwise a routine scan will mark you for Gollum just the same. Uh, I don't understand. Sorry. There's no legal way for you to stay here. You should prepare for the worst. Uh, I... I... Uh... We don't know how to prepare. I'll take care of the activation. Just keep a low profile until I can get it sorted out. Thank you. We appreciate it. Milena, I've got an update on your friend Dragomir. I've seen Drachomir... ...to pretend to be many things. My friend was never one of them. It's been taken care of. He's not gonna be a problem anymore. Thank God. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad you did. 
Listen, if you ever need documents for something... I'll be fine. Thanks. <laughs> Hello? Great. Sitting on some cash, Grandpa. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you've done. Thank you. I, I didn't know what to do. There are not many people a man like me can call on for help. What do they want? What everybody wants. Money to feel strong. At first, I thought they were here to take me away. Any moment now, they will take me away. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Don't get that old man's hopes up. Unless. My daughter? Did she send you? She did, didn't she? Why else would you? Please, tell me. When can I see them? No, that's not who sent me. You paid someone for an AUG permit. Do you remember? Oh, yes. Those officers who stopped me. Sure, I remember. They charged me three times already. Said it was a very complicated process. I knew it wouldn't get me anywhere. But you kept paying? I was desperate. I would pay a hundred more times if it meant I could stay close to my family. To what is left of them. I want to stay in Prague. Here. This permit should fool anyone at a glance. I remember the officer saying I would have to pay again. Is that true? You know the drill by now. Of course. You know, in my day, everything had only one price. Uh, here. So, what now? Do I have to activate something? I can put on my nice coat if necessary. If I have to wait in line, I'll wait in line. I don't complain. The situation's a little less legal than that. Oh. Do you need me to break in somewhere? I'll take care of it. Just try to keep a low profile until I figure out how to validate your number. All right. I can do that. I will wait here. Milena, I met with both those odds you made permits for. Now what? There's a computer at the government kiosk that handles the Augment Permit Registry. You'll have to... access it. Quote, unquote. You mean break in? The code to the server room is 6788. Be careful, there may be other forms of security. All right, I got it. Let me see your permit, and be quick about it. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, officer. What's the matter, eh? I'm holding you up from some important, uh... This is a BH-847. Is that what it is? Sounds impressive. Are you going to be a problem? 
Eyes to yourself. Hm. You are cleared through this checkpoint. Go about your business. I saw your fancy license. No need to rub my nose in it. We've got an old here. Granted. Got into the art permit registry. Hold on. That should give me access now as well. Why am I seeing a security timer? Probably because neither of us have done this before. Cross your fingers. I borrowed this employee ID from a guy in a bar. Why does it say there's only one validation slot? Shit, shit, shit! The city has quotas for this kind of thing. Prague is designed to regulate people to death. What does that mean? The system won't let this guy register two people. Just scan something. There isn't much time. Help one person at least. Good. Irenka's documents should hold up to any kind of scanning check now. She's as legit as she can be. Without actually being legit. I came here to help two people. It doesn't always work that way. Look, you need to get out of there. Please. Elena, that permit I wasn't able to scan. What happens to Edward now? He probably ends up in Golem. Or he gets arrested for trying to use fake documentation. Thrown into a cell somewhere. I don't know. Doesn't exactly feel like a win, does it? No, it doesn't. We did the best we could. Listen, thanks for being one of the good guys. 